Okay, so today we'll be looking at lung diseases. The first disease we'll be looking at is asthma. Asthma is a respiratory condition where the airways become inflamed or irritated. This can be caused from an allergic reaction to substances like dust or pollen. During an asthma attack, the smooth muscle lining, the bronchioles contract and a large amount of mucus is produced. This causes constriction in the airways and it is difficult to breathe. Airflow in and out of the lungs is severely re reduced and less oxygen enters the alveolus. Reduced airflow means that FEV is severely reduced. Symptoms include wheezing, tight chests, shortness of breath. And they can be often relieved by drugs, often inha inhalers, which causes the muscle in the bronchioles to relax, opening the airways. Another disease we are going to look at is emphysema. It is a lung disease caused by smoking or long time exposure to air pollution. This is when foreign particles in smoke get trapped in the alveoli. This causes an inflammation which attracts phagocytes to the area. The phagocytes produce an enzyme that breaks down elastin which is found in the walls of the alveoli. Elastin helps the alveoli to return to its original shape after breathing. The loss of elastin means that the alveolus can't recoil, recoil and expand as much and the particles remain trapped in the alveolus. It also leads to the destruction of the alveoli walls. Symptoms include wheezing and shortness of breath. People with emphysema also have an increased ventilation rate and they try to increase the amount of air reaching their lungs. Another disease is pulmonary tuberculosis. When someone becomes infected with a tuberculosis bacteria, immune cells build up a wall around the bacteria in the lungs. This forms a hard, small lump called a turbicell. cell. Infected tissue within the turbicell cells dies and the gaseous exchange surface is damaged, so the tidal volume is decreased. Tuberculosis also causes the fibrosis, which also reduces tidal volume. A reduced tidal volume means that less air can be inhaled with each breath. In order to breathe, patients must need to breathe faster. Symptoms include persistent cough, coughing up blood and mucus, chest pains and shortness of breath and fatigue. Another disease we're going to look at is fibrosis. Fibrosis is the formation of a cigar tissue. It can be due to an infection or exposure to a substance like asbestos or dust. Scar tissue is thicker and less elastic than normal lung tissue. This means that they are less able to expand and cannot hold as much air, so tidal volume and FEV is reduced. Fibrosis sufferers also have a faster ventilation rate than normal to get enough air into their lungs to oxygenate the blood. Symptoms include shortness of breath, a dry cough, chest pains, fatigue and weakness.